checking out SML Movie Junior's Last Meal. Let's dive right on in. <laughs> a 250 word essay on the first person to milk a cow like why would the guy walk up to the cow and it could be a cash cow and whack it off until the white stuff came out and then drink it and what? also what made him leave it out in the sun and let it get all moldy and everything and then eat it as cheese that's anyway, crazy y'all write an essay on that hey wait a minute what did make someone go milk a cow and drink the white stuff for the first time must have been my great 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 grandfather yeah i believe it oh hey, guys, yeah start our cody essay. any peanuts oh peanuts yeah Sign me up. I want some. No, 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 no. Peanuts. Oh, peanuts. No, I don't want it. Oh, he heard penis, hey, no, right? Peanuts? No, Junior. You shouldn't eat those in class. They're messy. Wait, how about some peanuts? Ugh. Ooh, that boy is savage. <laughs> All right, Kraft, yeah. while you write your essay, I'm going to eat my grilled chicken sandwich from Chick fil A. I don't get the fried one because they fry it in peanut oil, and I'm deathly allergic to peanuts. And, Junior, I see you eating peanuts in class. Don't you let those things get near me. Don't worry, teacher. I won't let the peanuts get near you. Uh, I believe a guy milked a cow for the first time because he bought a wedding ring for his wife uh, and this cow's udder was the same size as his wife's finger and he wanted to see if the ring would fit. So he put the ring on the udder and it got stuck and he started yanking on the ring to get the, the ring off the udder and the udder squirt milk in his mouth and he said, hmm, that's gonna throw the Nice! Did somebody call the nurse? Yeah! Are you okay? Oh, peanut! Oh, he's allergic to peanuts! Oh my god! Who put a peanut on his sandwich? <gasps> junior, you have peanuts! I didn't do it! Nurse, Junior what? has peanuts! You tried to kill your teacher! Screw you, Junior! Screw you, Junior! Somebody call the cops? Alright, yeah. kid, that's it. You're under arrest for trying to kill your teacher with a peanut. It wasn't me! Says the kid with peanuts on his The dick. peanuts! Tell it to the judge, bucko. Come on. Oh, we're gonna see Pooby. I am the honorable yeah. Boober. The best! Today we the will goat. be airing the case of Junior, who is being accused of trying to kill his teacher by throwing a peanut onto his teacher's sandwich after his teacher explicitly said he was allergic to peanuts. Is this true, Chew? True, Chew? True, Chew, true, Chew, true, 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 Yeah, you a train or something? True, Chew? Is this true, Mr. Chew? That is correct. He tried to kill me. I didn't try to kill him. It was someone else. You had bag of peanuts on your desk, so you had to be the one that threw it. It wasn't me. Ah, oh, yes, the shaggy defense. The you know shaggy. Know it wasn't me. Well, Mr. Junior, you're not the first kid to try to kill their teacher, and you certainly won't be the last. But That's good. if I let you go now, you might try to kill him again. So I have no choice but to find you guilty and sentence you to death by electric chair. Oh. Tonight. I see you later. Electric chair? Come on, dead boy. Or soon to be dead boy. Get in there, you. Oh, what? I don't want to die. Yeah, it sucks, but you did the crime. Okay, so you do get a last meal, and that can be whatever you want. So we'll be back in a few minutes to take your order. Would you like a drink while you wait, or maybe some breadsticks, Caesar salad? I'm too sad to eat. Okay. Uh, oh, that, that's the uh. visitor doorbell? We put a doorbell in so that the death row inmates know when they have visitors. We made it sound like a home doorbell, because death row inmates are never going home, because they're going to die. Oh, uh. Hey, Junior. Hey, guys. Oh, dude, I heard you're dying tonight. That sucks. But say hi to my dad when you get to hell. Oh, oh yeah. Because his dad's a uh, dry bones. Well, or they can't use those anymore. Because we're going to get him out of here. You're going to break me out of jail? No, we're not going to jail for you, but we are going to prove your innocence. How do you know I'm innocent? Well, because if you had actually thrown that peanut, you would have said, hey, guys, look what I'm about to do before you did it, because you like to show off. Yeah. yeah. Glow, it was a bully. If I would have threw that peanut, I would have told you guys I was going to do it first. Yeah, exactly. We don't know who threw that peanut, but me and Joseph are going to find out. In the meantime, you need to buy time. How am I going to buy time, Cody? They're going to kill me tonight. But before they execute you, they have to give you your last meal, and that can be whatever you want. So just make sure you ask for something impossible for them to get, like something that could take days or even weeks for them to get, so they have to postpone your execution. Will that really work? Yeah, it's your last meal. They have to give you whatever you want. Yeah. Okay, I'll ask for something really hard to get. Okay, come on, Joseph. Let's go find out who threw that peanut. 
Okay. I've got to order something really hard. Hey there, welcome to Applebee's. How can I take your order? Applebee's? Oh, I'm sorry. Welcome to Death Row. How can I take your order? Sorry, I haven't been a server since I worked at Applebee's. What do you want? So I can literally order whatever I want. Yeah, literally whatever you want and as much as you want, too. I mean, we can do crazy stuff. Like John Wayne Gacy, that crazy guy who dressed up like a clown and ate kids, he ordered a dozen deep fried shrimp, a bucket of KFC's original recipe chicken, french fries, a pound of strawberries, and a bottle of Diet Coke. And cheesecake? And then this other guy, James Edward Smith, he wanted a lump of dirt. So we can do pretty much anything. Okay, so I heard uh, shrimp and KFC, so I was Everest. like, all the OG characters, yeah, we'll but just uh, missing Eagle's cheesecake. Eagle, okay. And steal an egg, uh -huh. and cook it sunny side up. Sunny side up, good choice, good choice. I want you to go to the Mariana's Trench, okay, yeah. and kidnap a bunch of baby octopuses. Ooh, okay, baby octopuses. And I want you to get a Papa John's pizza, a pepperoni one, and I want you to take the pepperonis off, and put the octopuses on the pizza. Oh, okay, octopus pizza. And I want Papa John to say a racial slur at the pizza. Okay, that shouldn't be hard. And then I want you to go to the Sahara <laughs> Desert, and find a blue cactus. Blue a blue cactus? And I want to eat that. Okay. I want uh, two Big Macs, uh -huh. but I want the Big Macs from somewhere where they worship cows. What, like India? Yeah, yeah, get a cow from India, the most worshipped yeah. cow in India. Okay, the most worshipped cow in India. Yeah, I want that, I want that, how you make the meat from the Big Macs. Uh -huh. I want a two-month expired can of ravioli okay. from Chef Boyardee. Uh, does it have to be two months? Has to be two months expired. Okay, okay, got it. Two months old expired ravioli. Yeah. Uh, what day is it? Uh, Sunday. Oh, I want Chick-fil-A. Oh, Chick-fil-A is closed on Sundays. So. I still want it. Okay, you got it, Chick-fil-A on yeah. Sunday. <laughs> uh, anything to drink with that? Uh, I want you to go to Tatooine and go to McDonald's and get blue milk. <laughs> Tatooine! <laughs> I want George Lucas to taste test it for me. I tasted my George Lucas. George Lucas. And then for dessert. Uh, the crust of uh, Pop Tarts. Just the crust? Only the crust. I only like the crust. Oh, me too. Okay, so uh, I'll go get all this stuff, but it might take a little while, so your execution might not be tonight. Sorry about the inconvenience, but I'll get this going and you just sit tight, okay? All right. All right, Joseph. Let's look around the classroom and see if we can find any clues that prove Junior's innocent. Okay, dude. Oh, gotta find some evidence. Let me check Bully's desk. Hmm. What a silly drawing. Oh, I gotta find some evidence! Oh my god! The evidence look. is right Who's there! Up, dude? There's a security camera of the classroom. It shows Bully grabbing a peanut off Junior's desk and throwing it at the teacher. I'll record it with my phone and show it to the cops. Come on, let's go! <sighs> Cody, where are you? Okay, I really got it. You actually got all the food? Hell yeah, I did. This is your last meal. Okay, so this is your sunny side up bald eagle egg from the top of Mount Everest. This is your blue milk from the McDonald's on Tatooine. This is your blue cactus from the Sahara Desert. These are your Big Macs from India. This is your two month old expired Chef Boyardee ravioli. This is your Chick fil A on a Sunday. And this is wow. your baby octopus pizza that oh, wow. Jones himself personally yelled a racial slur at. He even yelled a racial slur at the garlic sauce. I didn't even want him to. He no way! Yelling racial slurs. He speaks entirely in racial slurs now. Oh, and also this 12 year old gamers. How did you get all this? Oh, it was not easy. Let me tell you the story. So I hopped on a non uh, flight to Nick Nepal, that's where Mount Everest is, and then I hired a Sherpa to take me up to the top of the mountain. But about halfway up Mount Everest, my Sherpa died, so I had to make the rest of the hike on my own. But when I got to the top of Mount Everest, I saw a bald eagle's nest, and I thought, wow, this is going to be easy. So I grabbed one of the eggs, and then all of a sudden, this eagle swooped down and punched me right in the face. Like, he punched me. Like, Damn. he scratched me. He balled up his talons and punched me in the face. So I started throwing haymakers. Haymakers! Yeah! And then the eagle held me down and started pecking at my eyes, and then he threw me off the top of Mount Everest, and I fell all the way Bitch back. Bitch ass the eagle! Starts so so throwing haymakers. So I got that. So then I hopped on another nonstop flight to Guam, and then from there I took a submarine out into the bottom of the Marianas Trench, and I saw a family of octopi. So then I wrote free candy on the side of my submarine, because oh, even no. octopus kids can't resist free candy. So then when they came up, I you kidnapped did a screw the baby ball. octopuses. You and pulled the, the, and the ball. octopus mom and dad, they were so upset, they were screaming an octopus. I mean, I don't speak octopus, but they seemed very upset. So from there, I hopped on another nonstop flight over to Italy, and I went over to Papa John's house so he could cook me up a pizza. So he answered the door, and he called me a racial slur, because I guess that's just how he yeah. says hello. So then he cooked up the pizza with the octopi on it, and then he called the pizza a racial slur, and then he called me a racial slur. So from there, I hopped on another yep. nonstop flight to North Africa, which is where the Sahara Desert is, and then I rented a camel and then wandered out into the middle of the Sahara Desert, and then my camel died of dehydration, so oh. I lost the deposit on the camel. So I just kind of wandered around the Sahara Desert for a while, you know, I was dehydrated, so I was hallucinating, uh -huh. and I was starting to see things, and I saw a mirage. Bugs life. I thought it was a mirage, but it turned out it was an actual blue cactus. So I took it, and then I blacked out from dehydration. So then I woke up in a pyramid hospital, and I said, well, thank you for saving my life, and then yeah. I hopped on another nonstop flight to India. I got a lot of frequent flyer miles on this trip. So then when I got to yeah. India, I saw a bunch of people gathered around worshipping a cow, and then I said, hey, I, I gotta take this cow to the vet because I think he has mad cow disease but really I just took it out back
back and I shot it and I butchered oh. it for the meat and then I came out with two Big Macs. So from there, I yeah. had another nonstop flight over to NASA and then I had them send me on a rocket to Tatooine. But then when I got to Tatooine, I got robbed uh -huh. by some Jawas and they were all like, Ootini! And then when I was in yeah. Mos Eisley, I found the McDonald's there. So I went to the drive-thru <laughs> like, and they, they were all like, look like Bob. And I'm then kidding. I ordered that blue milk you wanted and they gave it to me and they yep, also the blue milk. Said, and so after I came out of the drive-thru, I saw that they actually have a Chick-fil-A on Tatooine too. And it's open on Sundays because the days don't work the same there. So I went through the drive-thru yep. at Chick-fil-A and they went, Udini! And I got that chicken. So then from there, I, I, I hopped on a rocket and I went back to my house and then I went into my pantry. And it turns out I actually already had a two-month-old expired can of Chef Boyardee ravioli. And I had some Pop-Tarts, so I just yep. took the crust off those. So yeah, you should be grateful that I brought all this food to you. So bon appetit, dig in, eat the cactus. I want to see how that works. I'm not hungry anymore. Damn it! You pulled a Lawrence Russell Brewer on me. There was another guy what? who ordered a bunch of food, and then when we brought it, he said he didn't even want it. Damn it! I knew you were gonna do this. I was halfway up Mount Everest, and I said, I bet that little bastard doesn't even touch his food. But you know what? I'm taking this egg. I fought hard for this egg. Okay, let's go to the electric chair. Oh, actually, I, I do want to eat. Oh, okay, we'll eat the cactus. Never mind. Yeah, that's right. Come on, let's go. We're right, not gonna eat the pizza. Fry. All right, mate. Let me just turn it on. Wait, 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 wait! He didn't do it. I have proof. Show me. Look, right there. It's this other kid named Bully. He threw the peanut. Oh, man. That's lame. I wanted to fry him. Simmons, let him go. Yeah. Uh, I'll go arrest this bully. Oh, thank you so much, Cody, for getting oh. me. It wasn't me. Yeah, Bree yeah. Jr., get him out of here. Order. Bully, it turns out you were the one who threw the peanut on your teacher's sandwich. Well... Normally, I would love to give you the electric chair, but we spent too much money on giving the last kid his final meal, and now we can't afford to turn the chair off. Uh, so, I suppose I have to sentence you to 100 days community service, picking up trash on the freeway. Uh, picking up trash? Yeah. I wanted the electric chair. I know, right? I wanted to just Yeah, yeah. Dumb. This bully wanted to die. And run in hell. What would you choose as your last meal? I'd probably choose like lots of pizza, burgers, hot dogs, nuggets, like so much stuff. Like it'd be food overload. Call me. You can. My name's actually Nick, so you can call me Nick Akado SMG 0010. Hey guys, click on this video. You'll enjoy. It. I swear.